Hi guys, this is Ellie and welcome back to Illigraphy. So for our today's video, I'll be showing how I blend my color using the Crayola Super Text Markers. By the way, I have a giveaway contest about that. Please check out our Facebook page for the giveaway mechanics. So, the materials that I will be using today are Canson Watercolor Paper 200 GSM None other than my favorite marker which is Crayola Super Text Markers. Also, in blending the colors well, I'll be using my brushes. So these are my normal brushes that I also use for my painting. I have the number 5 tip and the number 4 tip. Aside from that, I also have my jar of water since Girl Super Tips are water-based. So without further ado, let's get started. So for starters, sinusulat ko muna yung gusto kong i-calligraphy kasi hindi pa ako ganun kagaling uh, mag-adjust sa spaces at saka sa laki ng mga letters so para maiwasan ko rin yung magkakamali kasi sayang naman yung papel, ba? So for this one, ang sisulat ko is yung sparkle like glitter. Make sure na light din yung um, draft nyo kasi kapag ka Binlend nyo na yung colors using Crayola Super Tips and Water. Medyo magiging transparent na yung payoff ng colors. And makikita yung mga lines or drafts nyo. So, syempre, medyo pangitingnan kapag ka evident pa rin yung drafts dun sa artwork. Next step is to get the lightest gray or yung mga medyo hindi ganun katingkan yung colors para sila yung magiging guidelines nyo kapag ka nag-blend na tayo ng colors mahirap kasi mag-blend kapag ka wala kayong guidelines kasi merong times na lalagpas yung kulay para din meron kayong guide at saka hindi na kayo mahirapan mag-blend kasi if you fill out nyo na lang yung spaces so syempre hindi naman totally nasusunod yung uh, draft natin. Kaya nga siya draft, ba? Para meron pa rin kayong room for adjustments. Katulad yung ginagawa ko dito ngayon. Nung sa pencil kasi, syempre, hindi naman ganun katik yung nagawa kong stroke sa pencil dahil nga, syempre, malipis lang naman yung tip ng pencils natin. So, ang ginagawa ko is, ina-adjust ko na lang kapag ka sinusulat ka na using my gray Crayola Super Tips. So, once my draft in pencils, done, I'll make sure that I'll go with my draft in Crayola Super Tips and also, I prepare or choose my colors para na rin hindi na ako malilito or hindi na ako matatagalan kung ano yung mga pagsasama-samain kong colors. So, the next thing that I did in this video is uh, I basically erase those drafts tapos pumili na rin ako ng mga colors. So, for sparkle, I chose the red one. Wala akong sinundan na color palette dito eh. So, kung ano lang yung nakikita ko na magbe-blend well sa isa't isa. Tapos, uh, dito sa sparkle, ang mga sinundan kong colors is pa na mga red tones. Ayun. So, my first tip in blending is use water. Mas madali kasi mag-blend at hindi rin masyado magagamit yung mga inks nyo kapag gumamit kayo ng water. The side effect lang with this technique is kapag ka nakapag-blend na kayo using water, medyo nagiging transparent na yung mga colors natin. Katulad na nakikita nyo ngayon sa video. So, for tip number 2 is huwag masyadong madaming water yung i-pick up nyo using your brush. So, the technique there is mag-prepare kayo ng tissue. Hindi ko napakita kanina sa video. Pero, you need a tissue. Tapos, dun nyo lang isi-scrape off yung mga water and pigments na excess. Para hindi rin mag halo, -halo yung kulay. Aside from that, make sure na pa isa, -isa nyo lang ilagay. Kasi, madali ding mag um, set etong colors ng Crayola Super Tip. So, kapag ka uh, ginawa nyo is yung pinuno nyo na muna ng mga colors yung artwork nyo tsaka nyo ibiblend, medyo mahihirapan na kayo. Pero, it, it works pa rin naman. Pero, it takes time kapag ganun yung technique na ginamit nyo. For tip number 3 is, huwag kayong magsustart dun sa sa darkest. Okay? So, mag-start kayo dun sa lightest na pag-blend. Tapos, make sure na hindi ganun kadaming tubig. The technique here is, the main technique pala rather is, 
not to use too much water. Kasi kapag gumamit kayo ng too much water, may tendency na maghalo na sila at hindi nyo na ma-achieve yung ombre effect na gusto nyo ma-achieve using the Crayola Superative Markers. Aside from that, choose complementary colors. So, syempre, gamitin natin yung color wheel natin and also yung basic knowledge natin with regards to color. Kasi kapag ka nag-premix tayo ng mga colors na medyo malayo yung uh, agwat nila sa isa't isa, mag magpo-produce kayo ng brownish color or blackish color kapag ka, lalo na dumami yung tubig. So, we, we want, as much as possible, we want to avoid that mistake. So, be careful in choosing the color. So, meron naman tayong mga applications sa Google Apps na magagamit natin to serve as our guide in our color palette. Another tip is to slow down and have patience. So, I think nasabi ko na ito ng paulit-ulit sa other videos ko, lalo na kapag ka nagmimix tayo ng colors. Kasi, once na naging excited tayo or hindi tayo naging patient sa pagmimix ng color, maaaring one, masira agad yung artwork natin dahil hindi natin chinek kung gano'ng kadaming tubig yung nailagay natin. Or, makapag-create tayo ng brownish color na lalong iniiwasan natin. You know, when I was a college student, I always believe in this saying na um, patience makes progress and patience is a virtue. So, ganun din. Na-apply ko rin siya sa artworks ko kasi we know naman na hindi ganun talaga kabilis gumawa or tumapos ng isang artwork. Lalo na kapag ka you dedicated your time for it, you wanted to be beautiful, you wanted to turn out good, and lalo na kapag gumagawa tayo ng commissions. So, mas maganda talaga na nagsuslow down muna tayo at first, so pagtagal naman ng panahon, di ba, kung persistent naman tayo sa pagpa-practice, sa pagkakalligraphy, sa pagda-drawing, may improve din naman natin yung pacing natin sa arts natin. Just always trust your perfect timing.
instead of human beings, I'm going to make you take that hat. Things have been different for me ever since I've met Hildy. I've never met anyone quite like her before.
Okay, so ito talaga yung pinakamahirap sa lahat na hindi ko na na-film kanina. Yung paglalagay ng details para hindi maging ganun ka-empty or ka-blank slate naman yung ating artwork. So, kalimitan na nilalagay ko is yung para mga wings-wings lang sa letters at saka yung mga bilog-bilog. Pero I'm exploring pa rin ng ibang ways or ibang techniques para mas mapaganda ko yung artwork ko at hindi siya magmukhang plain. So, aside from that, I always love to put um, shadows kasi wala lang. Nakikita lang ako sa kanya kapag meron siyang shadows. Always remember lang yung rule for our lighting kapag dalagay tayo ng shadows. So, kapag um, nasa top, yung top left, yung ating light source, syempre nasa right side naman yung ating shadow. So, vice versa lang. Yun lang. And sana na enjoy nyo tong video na to. I hope you learned from this one and I hope you will be inspired to practice more and to work on your craft. Do not ever give up on your passion. Do not ever give up on working in and believing in your craft. So that will be all. I'll see you guys in my next video. Please subscribe and give us a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Also leave a comment in the comment section. That will be all. Paalam and have a sparkly day ahead.